anticipated product launch within the Rolls Royce brand in the last year. First, uh, not only SUV, there it is, guys. Uh, but also Rolls Royce Hey guys, let's check out the Rolls Royce comments. Yo, Ndujin, get in the back, bro. Ah, I'll let you sit in the back seat. You can be driving this Daisy. Let's go have a good one. Go check it out. We got this cool Goodwood badging over here. This is the new truck from Rolls Royce. This is such a nice, it feels super comfy as always because Rolls Royces are very, very comfy. All the nice little gauges there. It's not, it's not kind of newish for me. It's kind of seemed like the, updated of the ghost it looks like it's more of an extended huge version of the ghost to be honest but nevertheless it's a great looking vehicle Rolls Royce has done it outdone themselves they've been working on this vehicle for the last I think three to four years and I've saw many many photos like now I can talk about it because the car is out there but I've seen many many photos and the specification on this on these ones how they they did it from the the get-go to now is crazy and something like this you're gonna see a lot of people enjoying it. And did you think about this, man? It's like I love the the, ah. the fur right here. This is the best thing at the floor mats. Trust me, when you get a Rolls Royce, you, you have to get you this. have to get this cup. If you it's don't, not a Rolls Royce without this. And if you're thinking of all oh, getting a dirty one, not if you're thinking of you're gonna get this dirty, then obviously this vehicle is not for you. You can't afford it. If you're looking that dirty, then you have bigger problems. But it's just a crazy, huge structure vehicle. It's nothing like the Phantom Eight, which is you know you can be over a million dollars specified. This one, I think. I think it's going to be around, I don't know, starting five something and then probably specifications to make it maybe 800000 or even a million dollars, depending on the type of specs. Because they will have a black badge version of this vehicle, which will be the bad, badass version. I can't wait for that. That can be in a few months, but there's some other cool little things we got here. Like, look at this. I don't, it's like kind of impressed. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a heat press or something. Yeah, a like heat press with a sort. I don't know. We'll maybe do some research. They did it well. we got to talk to them and ask them. We'll do some research about that. You guys can see this is. Oh, let's check out the back. So this is the structure. You guys seen the last one? This is a different company spec. This is more of like just a random, I guess, the regular spec. And then when you want to go extra, you have that one over there. So we're gonna close this up by the automatic buttons. We we'll close that one first. Close this first. And this is what the Rolls Royce kind of looks from behind. It's a great looking vehicle. It still follows the little Rolls Royce N, which is great still. Nothing too crazy. Nice black wheels. Um, we're gonna open up for you guys to see it once more again. A little click of that button. Also, click of that button. This is very nice. Okay, uh, and Dujin. What? Hey, Dujin. Let's see. We're gonna fuck around with some buttons today. <laughs> Apparently, that goes back down. It was, it was at an angle, so you can store all kinds of shit in here, guys. This is this is a very very nice looking SUV. And I think, oh, what do you got over here, Dujin? Of course, of course. This is the most balling thing ever of a, of, a, of, of having a Rolls Royce, is having the umbrella. Most people buy it just for umbrellas. <laughs> so you can be a baller. Um, hopefully, hopefully in the next few weeks or so. Sorry guys, I'm very, it's very hot up here. The only thing about this dealership, the AC is not working, but things do happen. The weather is very hot and things do break down when it comes to the heat. So hopefully in the next few weeks or so, we're going to hit up our friends at Rolls Royce North American Cars and say, hey, we need one of these to try it out. Nothing too crazy, just a, maybe a day or two with it to give you guys a good opinion with it. Because honestly, we love this vehicle. It is a great looking SUV. And if we can afford it, we'll definitely put one in the fleet. But right now, we're going to have to get an old Escalade for the fleet because this is gonna be probably five to eight hundred thousand dollars. Don't have that kind of money. If I did have the money before it's the Bugatti funds, which is coming in 20 years or so. So stay tuned with that guys. But anyways, guys, let's go back over here. And you guys remember this one. We're not gonna go too in depth with this because I have a YouTube video of this guy. This is the Rolls Royce Phantom 8. This is the new flagship vehicle from Rolls Royce. You guys remember seeing it. It is fucking mad. So if you guys take a look at it, it's gonna take a few seconds just to walk around it. Such a long wheelbase car. Um, nice metallically, um, I don't even know, like a darkest purple. And when we go to this angle, you see more of it, but it is a stunning color. And we're gonna go over to the Rolls Royce Beast Mode package program. So you guys see here, 
a lot of different things. And these are all the combinations you can do for your Phantom, for your, sorry, for your Rolls Royce. Special build, uh, name plates, all kinds of things there. The colors, materials, like customizations, engraved to your cars. Of course, you want to have your name RC or even your favorite other brand, the Ferrari horse. Well, obviously, that's not the Ferrari horse, of course, but you guys get the idea. But I think that is it for today, guys. Um, I just want to say thank you guys very much. Today was super, super, super cool. To be involved these, to be involved, more involved in these events is the craziest thing, and I do appreciate our friends who are grand touring. Thank you very much. And also our friends in England. That also, Richie, I want to thank the Rolls-Royce brand and the Rolls-Royce Cars North America page. I think it's Rolls-Royce Cars. Uh, Rolls-Royce Cars and A. If you want to check out the Instagram page, I'm going to put them over here. But guys, if you guys want to see more of this stuff, leave a comment down below and then we're going to try to do more things. Uh, we're going to shoot more cars, some different content aspect of the channel. It's not going to be more bullshit as before. It's going to be the real deal with the homeboy. I want to, somebody in the comments earlier said something super car baldy. Hey, I love super cars, super cars and I'm going bald. So hey, it's a super car baldy dude. So anyways guys, have a great one. Check out anything I've been doing. Thank you for all support. And also, guys, have a wonderful day. Peace.